my god do i sing well so i watched the new uncharted movie you know the one featuring mark warburg and peter one okay peter one peter two peter two peter but why why benjamin the reviews aren't that great why are you watching that movie man well, because i don't want you to spend 300 bucks on the tickets 200 bucks to travel to the theater and 500 bucks on food i actually shot a vlog it was a lot of fun and by the end of the video i'm gonna dive a little deeper into the things that i liked about the movie and the things that i didn't so keep watching let us go right gamers so the vlog just got a lot more exciting humne jo ticket book ki thi wo 19th ki kari thi hamare paas ticket hi nahi aaj ki तरुण सर आपके एक्सप्रेशन देना चाहेंगे जल्दी से आ दे दीजिए ये भाई ये दिमाग में पूरे टाइम कुछ ना कुछ चलता रहता है ना तो यही होता है यू कुड डू वन थिंग राइट माय प्रॉब्लम इज व्हेन आई एम थिंकिंग टू मच ना व्हाट वर यू थिंकिंग अबाउट थिंग्स वी डन पर्कड अप कोई नहीं मैं मैं कर देता हूं ना कैसा लग रहा है भाई भाई मजा आ गया तो द टिकट्स कॉस्टेड अ 600 बक्स इंस्टेड ऑफ And IMAX के रेट पे 2D देखने जा रहे हैं मजा आने वाला है अरे यार देखिए देखो नजर आ रहा है ए, ए, 19 फेब, उल्टा रहा होगा अतीत में मूवी देखने जा रहे थे ना अमेजिंग स्टॉफ एनी एक्सपेक्टेशन एक्सपेक्टेशन Since I played all three of Uncharted from the Nathan Drake trilogy, uh -huh. I'm expecting a lot of um, same references, like scene action sequences references. Right. And I'm expecting that. So action is definitely there. I Lama haven't even watched the trailer. Okay, so he's going in blind, and I think he's gonna be the most surprised, uh, and he's gonna love it. Because the action scenes are amazing. Personally, I am like I am wondering if वो जो source material है games का उसमें से उन्होंने proper inspiration लेके implement किया है कि नहीं. बाकी action scenes तो amazing. चलो. Let us do this. So we should see the new intro for the PlayStation Studio movies. Yeah, this is it. This is it. All the characters from the games. Yeah, that looked good. All right, gamers. So movie देख चुके हैं वेर आर द बर्गर किंग एक्चुअली जस्ट ऑर्डर सम फूड एंड वी जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कस एन ऑल गो ओवर ऑल द थिंग्स ऑल द थॉट्स इन आर अबाउट द मूवी सो वे कैन स्टार्ट विद यू बस कैसी थी मूवी बताइए क्या एक्सपीरियंस था यूर थॉट्स आई थिंक वन टाइम वॉच शॉर्ट ऑफ दी मूवी एक्शन सीन्स वे गुड एक्चुअली सी जी आई भी सही थी स्टोरी वॉज एवरेज इतनी कुछ ज्यादा खास स्टोरी नहीं थी एंड आई हैवेंट प्लेड द गेम सो आई डोंट नो मच अबाउट मिस्टर तरुण द ओजी म्यूजिशियन यस ऑल राइट दे वर एबल टू काइंड ऑफ काइंड ऑफ टेक रेफरेंसेस फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द गेम्स बट देयर इज डिन पुल इट ऑफ वेरी वेल बिकॉज़ फॉर समवन हु हैड ऑलरेडी प्लेड द गेम्स आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग टू गो इनसाइड द मूवी एंड सी लाइक अ लॉट ऑफ रेफरेंसेस व्हिच आई कुड रिलेट टू बिकॉज़ देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ what do i say inside jokes and kind of small small references small small joke right. references that you really need to kind of have to have a knowledge for that's what i feel like all right but good one time watch yes uh, that's what i think just don't just don't spend just don't spend 600 on it only spend 250 or 300 right. on it don't book your tickets in the past hmm. तो यस दैट्स रियली वाज इट अपने थॉट्स हम आपको बाद में घर पे बताएंगे स्टूडियो लाइटिंग के अंदर All right, we're back in the studio. So I don't want to do a pros and cons list. I just have a few pointers that I'd like to just touch upon and share my honest opinion about. So expect some light spoilers. Nothing crazy. Nothing that's going to spoil your experience if you actually want to go and watch the movie. Number one, soon as the movie starts, you get your first reference. You know, like in the games, when the game starts, you are involved in a crash, maybe a train crash, maybe a plane crash, but something big is going on. and the movie starts you see light spoilers tom holland flying out of the plane which you already probably saw in the trailer so that was like really something great something that they you know just took from the source material by the way guys consider subscribing to the channel it's free i don't want to go broke i want to go out buy more movie tickets and make amazing videos just like this for you guys Number two, this movie is an origin story more than anything else. So the uh, like the movie starts and Nathan Drake, Tom Holland, Peter One is working at a bar. In the games, you have not seen him 
have an actual job and you see Sully there and that's where they meet for the first time. There are major differences between them. They are not friends at all. But by the end of the movie, they're on the same page. And you also see Chloe. All of this tells me that this was a solid origin story. Something that takes place even before Drake's Fortune, the first game. Number three, they really took references and action sequences, entire set pieces from all the four titles in the franchise. And it actually made sense. They made a two hour movie out of it. And you'd imagine like taking stuff out from all the four games, putting into one origin story. How does that make sense? Well, it actually did. And the movie is filled with Easter eggs and you just see, you know, tons of references. You see the Naughty Dog logo and wait for it. You see Nolan North, the guy who voiced Nathan Drake in the games, just like you're used to seeing Stanley in the Marvel movies. And that was one of the high points in the movie for me. I just started screaming in the hall. Number four, action. Yeah, there's a lot of it. The CGI in the movie was absolutely fantastic. And Sony actually put out a video on their YouTube channel, a trailer actually, before the movie even came out. And it showed the entire three minute plane action scene. And the comments were like, yo, what? Did they give away the entire, like the best scene in the movie, in a trailer? Are you kidding me? Well, boy, did they have a surprise for us. And I was expecting the plane scene to be the climax. Well, no, 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 sir. They had a surprise and they got me because this was a 6 out of 10, the plane scene. And the climax is a 10 out of 10 because they tried to do something new. And it's not like it's never been done. The scale was big. Sure, we have seen things happen at that scale and maybe even bigger. But the way it all played out, you know, there was a lot of creativity involved in the scene. So the climax was definitely enjoyable. A review isn't complete without me criticizing the background score. Well, through and through, the score was like electronic. There was a lot of like strong kick drums, synths, and it actually worked where it did. But there was this crazy music with you know these trumpets and these these i don't know it was good the drums were good but the instruments used and even the pattern that was used to like to to portray the scene it wasn't just working for me i i hated it i was like to my friend ski bro the flip man i hate this stuff so much by the end you see the crazy uncharted theme playing oh my god do i sing well stop no just stop it. It's time to stop. Number five, and this is a major criticism. There were some silly moments in the movie and we expected it because it is a video game movie, right? But yeah, related to solving puzzles and, you know, just finding clues. There was some stuff that was just silly, but it was okay because it's a video game movie. Tom Holland's performance was amazing. Mark Wahlberg's performance was spectacular. I absolutely loved him. The dialogues and everything, it just worked. It worked for me. Three fourth of the way into the movie, you have one villain, right? Three fourth the way in, the villain changes. That put me off a bit. But yeah, since again, it's a video game movie, didn't really mind because the action was good. The fun bits were there. Everything was just flowing. So it didn't really mind. And finally, there was a post credit scene which implied, boy, get ready for part two. In the post credit scene, Sully also has a beard. And did I tell you that he had black hair in the entire movie? So we're expecting that he'll have white hair and he'll actually be looking like the Sully in the games in the next the sequel, part two, which is actually amazing. So definitely this was one of the better video game movies. We have seen a lot of flops and it was definitely a great one-time watch. Tony is not messing around because they have the Last of Us web series coming out on HBO. They have the Ghost of Tsushima web series in the work. That could be a movie as well. And with the recent Bungie acquisition, what I've been told and what we've actually talked about is that we can get a Star Wars level web series out of destiny which could be crazy so if you want to check that out and i recommend that you check it out we did an entire podcast on it we talked about it extensively check that out right here consider subscribing because if i go broke i can't buy no more tickets and i can't make videos just like this so consider subscribing guys it's absolutely free drop in a like for good luck and i'll catch you very soon in the next one take it easy Peace. I watched the new Uncharted movie. You know the one featuring Peter One and Mark. Losing up. Bitch. Losing up. Mark Wahlberg. Get that right. Get that right. Get that right. 
Mark Wahlberg.